Welcome back to another special episode of Dish It Girl. I have my assistant here again with me today. What's your and name? Sienna. And we're going to be making. And this is mommy. Yes, and this is mommy. And who's that? And that's daddy. And that's daddy behind the camera. So we're doing another special edition of Mommy and Me in the Kitchen. We're going to be making some turkey apple meatballs, making them into special shapes with a little bit of pesto. You wanna get started? Yes, let's go. All right, let's do it. So in here, I have a pound oh, of turkey an meat. Egg. And here is oh, one egg that you would love to crack. No, I could. You're gonna hold on to my hand? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. All right. All right. And I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. So now we have our one egg and we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna take a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Go ahead, dump it in, my lovely assistant. Very nice. Then I have, show the camera what I have. I have some chopped up apples and shallots that I sauteed for about three minutes. They're cooled down. They're gonna get dumped in. Here we go. And then we have a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Go ahead, get it in there. Now the next part is going to be a mommy job. And this is where I'm gonna get my hands dirty. Why? And I'm actually, why? Because that's how we mix up the meatballs. You see me put a little bit of olive oil on my hand, that's gonna make it easier for me to form these and that they don't get stuck. So whenever we're enforcing kitchen safety with Sienna, I like to tell her there's gonna be some and mommy what? jobs. Oh, look at your beautiful bracelets and Sienna jobs. So when I say mommy jobs, Sienna knows hands off, right? Okay, so what I need you to do while I'm doing this, Sienna, mm -hmm. is pick out a cookie cutter. Because what we're gonna do is we're going to use cookie cutter shapes for these meatballs instead of rounding them. Which shapes do you want to use? Pick out one to start with. Um, the heart. The heart? Um, Okay. And with my clean hand, I'm going to add a little bit of kosher salt to this. Not too much, just like a teaspoon because we have some Parmesan cheese in here. And also a little bit of black pepper. All right, I'm going to keep mixing this until it's well combined. And then the next step is, can you move that for mommy? I have a piece of parchment paper set down on this cutting board. And I'm going to take the mixture. Whoa! Oh, slime! <laughs> and I'm going to pat it down. Okay, and this is still a mommy job. You're gonna get to do a Sienna job in a minute. I'm using the palm of my hand. Next, we're gonna take some Is olive oil. Paint? Yes, you're gonna get to paint a little bit on a little paintbrush. And you're gonna take your cookie cutter and you're just gonna paint the bottom of the cookie cutter and that's gonna help it slide out of the, the meat. Okay, here you go. Paint the cookie cutter. Up top. Up top, yeah. Go ahead. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cookie cutter, push it down. Here you go, you're gonna have shapes. Kind of like you're making um, cookies with um, like the sugar cookie dough, <laughs> but it's meatballs. <laughs> and this is just another fun way to get kids to try to pick up something and try when it's in fun shapes. Okay, now press down. Very nice. Okay, you can do it. You got this, you got this. Very nice. Oh, you wanna do the bunny now? I want to try them now. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna get in there, get these shapes, and I have a parchment paper lined baking tray. And we're put these shapes onto, and we're gonna bake these meatballs at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 Mama. minutes. Before okay. we get these into the oven, we're going to paint the tops with a little bit of olive oil. Can you do that, my lovely assistant? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get working on the pesto, which is super duper simple. We're just going to use a ton of basil. Smell it. Ah, 
a ton of basil. We're gonna put it into the food processor here. So we're gonna be using basil, kosher salt, black pepper, Parmesan cheese, some lemon zest. We're gonna zest half a lemon here. And we're gonna squeeze in half the lemon. And then we're gonna stream in some olive oil. Add a quarter of a cup, and we're gonna pulse it. Next up, we're gonna put it all together. Our meatballs have come out of the oven, and cool, what shapes do we have here? What's um, a sun. A sun, and a, a flower, and a? A heart. A heart, you did a great job and making here, these. a flower, and a Correct. Sun. Okay, we're gonna put in some of the pesto. All right, would you like to stir it? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll You spoon a little more in. There you go. Maybe a little bit more. Ooh, you're good at that. Then we're gonna put in I don't a little want bit. On the salad. You don't want it on the salad. We won't put pesto on the salad. Okay, yeah. you you gonna pour while I spin? I mean spin. <laughs> Are you gonna pour while I stir? Okay. There we go. This is a little bit of pasta water. It's good starchy water that's gonna help our pesto adhere to our pasta. Ooh, look at this. What color is it? Green. It is green. We're gonna add a little bit more of our pesto in. Yum, yum, yum. All right, and now it's time to put it on the plate. Those are called tongs. Yep. Okay, so mommy's gonna go first, and then Sienna's gonna go. Woo, spaghetti. Spaghetti reminds me of Lady in the Tramp. Have you seen that movie yet? It's my turn. All right, here you go. Your turn. Put that right here. Okay. This is also good for motor skills, having kids use different kitchen tools. I'm not saying it's gonna be Pinterest perfect or not a little frustrating, but still, another good activity. There you go. Very nice. One more and we're done. Can you get it? Can you get it in the bowl or is it going all over you? Very nice. Okay, you wanna take a taste test? Ready? Bite! <laughs> oh, we did it! <laughs> you wanna do it again? How do you think it tastes? Good. It's good? Now we're gonna put our meatball. No, let's do it again. Let's do it again. We will. Let's show everybody how we put our meatball on top. You want to sprinkle a little cheese on top for everybody? Just a little, or a lot. All right. So here we go. Let's we see. have some pesto spaghetti. I do it with turkey, apple, meatballs. Thank you for joining us in the kitchen and happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Have a mother day. Have a mother day. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>